Hi friends! Today is going to be a continuation of my TBR Jar Book Haul Rewind Try a Chapter. If you remember back in January I started this really long named long-winded tale of combining a lot of last year's videos into one video. So essentially my book haul rewind which was me going over every book that I had bought in that specific month and telling you whether I had read it or not and then also doing a TBR jar pick and also wanting to do try chapters and I merged them all together. Now I said in January I only had three books that I hadn't read yet. February and March didn't have enough to even read one book. They were all either books that I've already read or books that were like the sixth book in a series that I haven't started yet. Why do I do that? I don't know. So April, I know that there are books. I know that there are only three so I'm just going to do the first chapter of all of them but I don't know what they are. I looked at it like a couple weeks ago but I don't remember what they were. Just as a refresher because it's been four months. The books that I pulled last time were Renegades by Marissa Meyer, Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh, and Written and Read by Anne Bishop. I have read both of these already. I'm not going to tell you how I felt about this one because that would be a spoiler because I just read this one in April. But I will link my review on Goodreads for Renegades so you can check that out if you want to know how I thought about that one. And I have not yet continued on with Written and Read but I do plan to read it this month so it will be all three of those will be done because I did enjoy the first chapter of all of those. Through the phone. Okay I'm gonna go grab these and then we will discuss. The first thing to note is that all three of these are from April of 2019 so they're all books I bought last year. They are The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman, Heirs of Fate by Amara Luciano. These are three novellas in a bind up and The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston and this is a follow-up to Geekerella. So they're all blue interestingly enough. I guess I'm going to go alphabetically. Sand the the. I will read the first chapter and see what I think and we'll pick one to read this month. So I read the first chapter of The Devouring Cray. I was pretty sure it was like a witchy book about like a group of witches who had locked away a monster like in the gray and the monster is escaping and uh, and I don't really know much more than that. It was an interesting first chapter getting to meet what I think will be the two main characters and probably love interest because it's YA and that's how it works. It was interesting. I like witchy so I like that it started off with like a tarot card scene. I don't know how I feel about the angst aspect of it or the automatic dead people. There's a lot of dead baggage right off the bat. I don't know. Um, interesting and I would like to continue on but I don't know if it's the one I'm gonna pick for this month or not. I haven't, it wasn't like an instantaneous heck yes. So on to the next one. This one does not actually have chapters but I read to like the first page break. I'm not sure how I feel about this at all. I like it but do I like it more than the other one? Are they the same? I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Moving on. Okay so I just finished the first chapter of The Princess and the Fangirl and I think this is going to be the one I continue on with. A because I enjoyed the first book and B because it ended on a cliffhanger and I'm kind of interested to see where things go from there. The first book I didn't love like the first part of but I really enjoyed once it got to the convention and just like all the fandom and nerd love and this book takes place entirely at a convention so I figured that I would like this one better than the first. I think I'm gonna continue on with this one. Um, this one, heck yes. These two I will continue on as well. I didn't dislike either of them enough to just shelve them and, 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 and haul them. I did enjoy them. But this one, yeah, this is the one for this month. If I finish this one, I may read another one of these or I may save them for another time, who knows. 
Um, but yeah, definitely Princess and the Fangirl. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the three of these and if so, what you felt and thought about them. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!